All right, so I'm gonna do another podcast. Podcast here. I still got the same shirt as yesterday. Yeah, that's right. I put it back on for a minute. Just driving around anyway. I know you would notice that, but even I noticed that. It's so weird. I decided to speak up about it because I had a like long sleeve shirt. It's very important. And then like, no, nah, I was too like whatever for that. So rather than doing laundry or even reaching for a clean shirt, it's very important. I'm gonna put on glasses now too because it's again some driving you know and i'm gonna stop light and i'm gonna do a little mini podcast now i'm furious about a lot of things in the country and like whatever i'm just i have a right to speak same as anyone else particularly on my own little like cyberspace corner of it you try saying i don't but you really do say that and then that one's and then you like set your like, social media settings so that like no one like if, i mean it's it really is like I said, like, if you're me at least, you seem to have realized, like, they're, they not only all nationwide, they drank that Kool Aid, but like, one of the ingredients was like myself. Just because, just because of Costanza, yeah. Something about it. Anyway yesteryear oh my goodness oh they're just so clear right everybody oh they're cool my god oh i believe and they like like the truman show or whatever right anyway what do i want to speak about well i get angry at a lot of things but i have a right to i mean they politics and religion never talk about them oh no i love talking about them I even do them in, a, like, my little fake comedy album that, like, yeah, it was a front to see what would happen, but, like, it wasn't that bad for, like, I improv the whole thing. So, at any rate, you know, kind of like now, but this isn't a comedy album, but it, what infuriates me is you, to no end is some of these Christians, as you can see. I'm Christian, but don't rope me in with the other Christians. I'm quite Buddhist about it. And Taoist, don't, don't mess. But, you know, I mean, they're just the biggest bullies. Only if you believe as we do would you go to heaven. I get it from the most pious people. They're so worried about their friends who are Jewish, of all things. I don't know. But if they don't espouse that they're now outwardly Christian, they're going to burn in hell. You actually, with a straight face, claim you believe that, despite all the times you've read the Bible and I've even had conversations with you about Good Samaritan, and of course, no way. You would Jews? If, they, if they're if they all, like, Jesus knows about them, just the same as he has other flocks, like, we're all God's kids here. Why are you so evil with how you teach things? Yet, there is, so on behalf of, like, the Christian community, I would, as a fellow mere Christian, half Catholic, half Protestant, though not a practicing Catholic. I don't like religion. But, I respect, I mean, the, the Protestants are even worse with this shit. And yet, they don't even believe the Bible, because if you talk about angels or demons or anything, oh, look, 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 I don't, I, you're a liar. Go to med school, you know what I mean? Get, get a, go to Club Med. It's nuts. You are being evil. You don't notice anything with the state matter? Absent if there are uh, bugly boos or not, let alone the great bugly boo in the sky, right? Moving up with the spirit of the sky, right? It's omnipotent, so when you die, he'll get you. But if you want to fight Yahweh, go ahead and fight Yahweh. You know it's going to be the most high God. God of the God. How dare you suggest he's not God of Earth and, like, knows about certain religions, likes them better than other ones. Like, the Hindu and the Buddhist and the, like, Christian for three can't lawyer it, the honesty. We get why it was... But, but I think so, too, it was false witness. Yeah, he does not like that. Slander, whatever. Anywho... Then there's honesty, right? And not trying to put a hex on every F, right? Or whatever, right? Right, hex F. That's hex F. These journalists with the state matter, they don't know about anything. They think this is how it's supposed to work, right? Like, they just rely on everybody 
to status quo we like it we're so good here in the media right they're completely have no right they have no more right to the airwaves than any other human i went to tish i understand i went to tish if anybody like has a right to those airwaves is snobs like me with the with the phd and i went to tish or usc you have no right you don't even know what you're talking about. And you're going to hire the guy from like the failed like talk show to like run CNN. And then he's going to quit over impropriety of that sort. When that can't even get you fired, that scoop. But I think with the little like Ray Epps stuff and a little bit this one. And a little, he just got out of Dodge and you don't know about that. But Cuomo wants $125 million. Bullshit. He's just busting your balls. Like he doesn't care about it. But he's gonna sue you for 125 million, apparently. It's like uh, Fredo's more like a you know you just gotta point him at the right thing. But I, I don't think he needs me to tell him how wrong and in the wrong CNN, let alone all of the airwaves. Oh, every last production, they're all in the wrong. You have no right to say we'll keep a promise. We won't let anyone on that's gonna like try to. You absolutely are anti-American and you know it in the media. I'm sorry to say it. It's not quite what Trump says because he's one of you. He's exactly like you. Oh, he's going to take on big tech, huh? How the fuck's he going to do that? He's a liar with a scam company that's trying to set it up for like, we're a scam, but on the right. It's the same scam artist and he was never in their good old boys club. So they hated him when he was president. But now maybe he can blind. No, no, he can't. They just really think they got him by the balls with this FBI and whatever the hell on August 8th of all days. It's a significant date, let alone the 9th. Not because of my birthday, actually. Just, I know what my birthday is. It's Nagasaki all over again, right? Some garbage. And then there's pain about it. Anywho, what's my birthday? August, I mean... All the ways I, you know, I, I don't know that for a fact here, right? But the, I don't know when my birthday, I, I mean, you know, anywho. But it, but both ways, right? Rowan was just so pregnant at that uh, Islander game or whatever. But then, like, we're roaring while she's, like, explaining it. You know what I mean? Because he just got... No, anyway, that's Costanza. And then there's the role, the, the like... Row Elaine P A S Q U I N or that's my mother. And they're my parents and I love them. And if Humpty Dumpty takes a fall, I try to put them back together again. And if the other one's extra crazy, I try to like pen them back up. Hey, come on, let's be friendly and nice here. No, 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 no. And uh, whatever, whatever you're scheming, I don't need to know about it. I don't need to elaborate. We don't need Con Artist University to abound. Uh, we know how Costanza can be sometimes with the, well, oh, sorry, Mr. Click. It's just, uh, we, I mean, uh, you know, uh, see that the engine's running, but uh, there's no one behind the wheel. All right, well, but me, I, you can see I'm quite lucid and like, hey, just, just, that, some don't lie. Wait a minute. Hey, wait, we don't need to. They're that bad shit. Yeah. All right, well, gong. I'll check you later, all right? See ya.